Emily with Lake Lifter, and today I'll be showing installation of a DC powered boat lift motor on a flat plate gearbox. This new DC powered motor is safer and faster than traditional AC powered motors. This system includes a powerful 24 volt motor, a control box, two wireless key fobs, two cables with a breaker fuse, a limit switch, an optional wall switch, and an optional pennant switch. Take the motor and mount it to the flat plate gearbox with the bolts. Once you've attached the motor, you'll leave it a little bit loose. You'll place the belt around the pulleys then you'll slide the motor over to tighten it up and you can then tighten your bolts. You'll need two 12 volt batteries for a 24 volt system. Everything is going to be inside of this box, but I'm going to continue the instruction on this table. Take the included jumper cable and connect it to the positive on one battery and the negative on the other, and then bolt it down. Take the battery side cable and connect black to negative on one battery and connect red to positive on the other battery. Take the battery side cable and connect it to the control box. Make sure red meets red and black meets black. Then take the motor extension wire, you'll connect one side to the control box, and you'll connect one side to the motor. Again, line up the colors red to red, black to black. Next, you'll plug in the limit switch, aligning the notches. Now you have a fully functioning boat lift motor system. The limit switch is a nice additional feature that while the boat lift is raising, anything that comes into contact with it will stop the motor automatically. You no longer have to worry about the electricity involved with AC powered motors around your dock in the water. Apart from the wireless key fob, we have a couple additional switch options. You'll notice on the control box there's another plug-in. We have a wall switch, which you would plug into the control box and you can mount and control your motor with that. We also have a pennant switch, which you can hang under your boat lift by the driver's seat and you can control with that as well. Now we've installed our batteries in the control box inside of our battery box. We also set the limit switch so when the carriage hits, it stops the boat lift motor. Now as you can see, we can lower our boat lift. Or when we raise it, as soon as it hits that limit switch, it'll stop the motor. You'll notice on the control box, there's an optional output where you can plug in our LED lighting. You can run it up under your boat lift canopy and the LED lighting can be controlled from your wireless key fob. This completes our installation. I'm Emily with Lake Lifter. Thank you for watching.